Metzger, Financial News Network. TFNN, Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN Thursday morning at 9 a.m. We got about 30 minutes to go until the start of trading. We have markets in positive territory, but again, off of the highs, pretty similar action to what we had yesterday. You look at the S&Ps, you accelerate from that low we had yesterday. We close into lower price territory of about 30, excuse me, 43.45. And man, the market's just accelerated all the way until about 2 to 3 a.m. Eastern time. We make a high of 43.85. Since then, you have the S&P He's given up 20 plus points off the highs. We're positive by 13 points right now. We got the NASDAQ 100 up 64 points, 14,803. We were as high as about 14,875. The Dow up 93 points, 34,358. The Dow giving up about 200 points from the high we made at 2.45 a.m. this morning. That high 34,554 on the Russell, positive by 11. But yet again, the Russell giving up 20 points, almost a full percent of where you were overnight. Bitcoin catching a bit. Check out that acceleration from where we were last night, 41,000. We almost make it up to 44,000. We're trading at 43,455. Crude giving up some of the gains. Tuesday, we're at 76.67. A little bit of a sell-off in crude since about 4 a.m. You trade from 75.40. We're down to 73.76. Gold contract catching a bit. Look at that acceleration. Gold up about $15 at 17.37. Gold. Just at 6.45, even closer to 7 a.m. this morning. So in the last two hours, we were right down to where we were midday yesterday in that gold contract. And we jumped to notes and bonds this morning. Pretty tame action. You get the 10-year. We'll call it flat at 131.14. The 30-year, negative by one tick at 159.02. Let's jump over to the volatility index this morning with the VIX. Trading at a comfortable 2173 with more volatility priced into this market when we're getting the moves that we're getting like we're getting yesterday. We got some economic numbers out there this morning. Initial jobless claims a little bit above what the market was looking for. 362,000 for the week ended September 25th. Uh, the median estimate they were looking for 330,000. So pretty close. You're talking about 30,000 jobs, all things considered. Uh, one final thing you talk about continuing claims 2.8 million. For the week ended September 18th. That data, one week delay. All right, folks, stay tuned. I'll be coming back with the morning market kickoff. Live programming all day at TFNN. We'll be right back.